Hey guys, welcome to the Fight Tonight channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribes. Boxing expert Timothy Bradley shared his impressions of today's victory of the newly minted absolute lightweight world champion American Devin Haney, our Australian George Kambosos. According to Bradley, he didn't expect that Devin would be able to take away the belts from his opponent so easily. It was a masterclass from Haney. I didn't think it would be that easy for him. I said before the fight that if Devin worked his job, he would be a nightmare for Cambosos. He is just doing some tactical and technical things wrong. George holds his arms low, stands up and end at the same time, leans on his front leg. This makes him an easy target for Jab. Haney had the advantage in arm span. Hate, boxing skills and athleticism, he had everything to win, Bradley said. Recall that Haney and Cambosos had a fight today at Merrill Stadium in Melbourne, Australia. The victory was won by a unanimous decision of the judges by an American. The star American lightweight Ryan Garcia was disappointed by the fight for the title of absolute champion in his weight between Devin Haney and George Cambosos. Garcia shared his impressions of the fight in a series of tweets. Considering that this is a fight for the absolute champion, a very ordinary performance from both fighters. None of them is in a hurry. Preference for Cambosos. Boring. Dear one to Davis, are you watching this? When we fight, don't let the fight go like this. Congratulations to Haney, but it was definitely just a tasteless fight. In any case, I will say that, you know, who I want after Fortune. Let them have their revenge, lol. Absolutely hypnotic performance, wrote Ryan Garcia. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please. Subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 1000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard absolutely every day and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks to everyone who subscribes to my channel. You are my support. Thank you so much. Devin Haney missed a few times on the right. But he didn't even feel it, or didn't let the opponent understand. Kambosos has never been known for a very heavy blow. His opponents fell from quick attacks, got up from knockdowns, and then many of them boxed all 10-12 rounds to the end. George was always better at the box in using speed. But here was just another level of boxing intelligence. But the question remains, was Kambosos so good in the fight with Lopez? And does he deservedly own the belts? Or is this the case when first Lomachenko, then Lopez performed at a level below their capabilities? The judges gave the victory to Haney unanimously. The score of 116-112 twice and 118-110 is still too close. George hardly won more than one or two rounds, but the compensation will be a fee about 10 million dollars for this defeat, a serious leap forward from 1.22 million for Definity Afimo Lopez, and George had rematch clause in his contract in case of defeat, and of course he will try to use it. Though I don't understand how he is going to box with Devin Haney. They later neutralized his blows from the right toward his arm. The Australian also did not reach out with a left hook. How are we going to surprise him now? And on the other hand, what else can Haney, one of three absolute champions in boxing, do now? Except to continue the tradition, to perform below his level like everyone before him and lost all the belts. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video please subscribe to my YouTube channel.